Welcome to Bullcraft, where every time something awesome happens, something terrible happens. Book. Doing another Minecraft speedrun attempt that will almost certainly end with Bullcraft. <laughs> um, yep, we'll see how it goes this time. <laughs> Weird. Ah, oh, my computer's running really smooth today. Awesome. I wonder if I'll be able to see... Uh, no, this, this uh, recorder's too old to uh, get a better um, frame rate save, I think. Oh well. As long as it's running, looking good and stuff, then that's what matters. Oh! Oh! Uh, I don't even... Uh, I don't think I know what I'm doing. <laughs> Oh well, I have enough for an axe, which was the important part, I guess. Okay. I don't know if it's just me, but I don't like jungle wood. I mean, I mean the color's kind of nice. It's kind of a reddish and stuff, but it, I don't know, just. Ugh. I guess I don't like jungle biomes in general, and I don't like to think about them. And it's like if I accidentally get jungle wood and then try to stack it with oak, and I can't, and I'm like, ah, grr. But I shouldn't be so grr about it, because if you find big trees like this, it's super easy to harvest. So I don't know, hopefully someday I'll get over my bitterness. But why can't, why can't I reach that one, but not this one? Oh well. There we go. I'm bad at steering looking up. I am terrible at it. Is that it? I thought there were a few more that fell. Oh well. Okay. I always save a few aside just in case I don't find coal so I can make some charcoal with it. Plenty of sticks and plenty of wood. Wood, please. Might as well make the rudimentaries here. Yeah, didn't see any snow biomes nearby, so won't be needing shovels right now. I always wait till I get stone um, to make shovels, because I can dig uh, dirt with my bare hands anyway until then. Chicken. Yeah, I've already learned from my uh, previous experience with madness not to get too obsessed looking for animals in the jungle biomes. Yeah, not worth it. Not worth it at all. You pay in time and sanity. <laughs> Why didn't I pick that up? So yeah, I'm going to stick to looking in the open. Ooh, a bit of animals over there. Some nice rocks. Hey, there's... But, uh, whoop. They look like the closest ones, so I might as well go for them then. Just grab whatever I can, not going to be fussy. When it comes to uh, pork products, um, I tend to like bacon and ham, but not pork chops. It's kind of odd, but I guess pork just has to be smoked or cured to taste right to me. But of course I'd rather see pigs alive. They're really smart and sensitive. Well, every animal is, but I may really wish I could be a vegetarian. Oh, so many of them all crowded. Um, but if you've ever like considered being a vegetarian but just don't feel like you could give up meat, uh, uh, there are some better options than there was years ago. I mean, they've made advances. There was this one soy protein that, um, I forget what brand it was. Um, it was textured just like meat. I mean, it was like stringy and chewy and everything. It, it, it had very, oh, ow, very meat-like mouthfeel. Uh, the only problem with it, this particular one, was that they used crappy spices, so it tasted yucky. But texture-wise, it was fantastic. I wouldn't have even known it wasn't meat. 
except for just a few, you know, times when the uh, grains lined up in a perfect line, but that only happens sometimes. But yeah, if uh, I'd say give a few more things a try, especially from like natural whole food places. They, they tend to do a pretty good job with it, usually. It, it all could be a matter of taste. But as I've said in an earlier video, I can't be a vegetarian because I have really bad sensitivity to vegetables. I get all kinds of illness from vegetables. V8 makes me vomit. Uh, lots of uh, vitamins that I take uh, make me really sick just because they're plant-based. It sucks pretty bad, you know, especially since I love animals so much. And I'd really love to be a vegetarian if only I could. And, and it's like any liquid vegetables I'm especially bad with. I Like, I can eat rice, but if I drink rice milk, I throw up. It, it, it's like it's in too high of a concentration, I guess. Tomato juice. I can eat tomatoes, drink tomato juice, I throw up. Uh, V8, that, yeah, that, that was really, really bad. I mean, within about eight minutes. So it's like V8 stands for vomit in eight minutes. <laughs> Ugh, sorry about all that, but... But yeah, it, it sucks. And it's like, and I'm also, I also have a gluten intolerance. So all this combines to make it pretty hard for me to uh, get a meal. I really miss eating out. I, I used to like to eat out with the family and stuff. Um, and I've had to kind of get used to either not doing that or bringing my own bread and then ordering bunless burgers and stuff. Uh, but I'm getting used to it. I'm starting to, uh, you know. It's coming natural for me to pack lunches and and stuff, I'm trying to uh, keep myself fed without getting in the way too much of uh, family's choices. There are a few uh, restaurants that usually have some gluten-free options like Applebee's and um, uh, Cheddar's. Both of them have pretty good options. Um, There we go. There we go. Uh, it's getting colder now. Uh, days are getting shorter. It's actually kind of nice to know, though, that time is going by. Because earlier when I've been all bedridden and stuff, it's just time just didn't exist for me. But now that I'm up more and can see and feel these temperature changes and time changes and stuff, I... Uh, I'm getting to uh, appreciate the flow of time once again. I have to actually look at my calendars once in a while again. <laughs> okay, that one's done. What, what am I doing? Oh, wait. Okay, there we go. That's uh, probably not going to be enough anyway. <laughs> oh. oh, maybe I can use the sword over there. Uh, oh, why did... Look, I clicked it. Why? Uh, my mouse. Uh, I always. Ah, uh, it's already. Oh, it, hey. Ah. Oh, it's. Oh well. It's it's already going and stuff and. Yeah. Yeah. Moving on. Gonna find some more stuff. At least I have coal now, so I won't need that charcoal stuff. At least, hopefully. Oh, that wasn't as big a cave as I thought. Ah. Uh. Speaking of weather and stuff, though, it is getting colder, and, uh, oh man, I miss, like, when I was a kid, I loved winter, you know, playing in the snow, sledding, all that stuff. And it's like now, it's, I'm old and cranky, and, uh, and my joints hurt from the cold, and I have a neck injury that aggravates when I get cold. Oh, some string early, some water, some shrooms. This is already bound. Very good early starting seed here. Aw, oh, man. When I was a kid, the big things was, you know, hot chocolate with uh, marshmallows in it. Um, 
But now that's all ruined because um, almost all the American cocoa companies now are adding sucralose or aspartame to their uh, cocoa. That doesn't make any freaking sense. They already have their sensible selections or whatever with low calories or no calories. They don't need to also alter the original recipe ones. They're like, we have it perfect. Now let's ruin it. Ugh, those artificial sweeteners have a nasty aftertaste. So many people now don't notice it anymore because it's being snuck into so many things. Sunny Delight used to not have it. Uh, uh, Hawaiian Punch used to not have it. Um, all kinds of crap is now ruined because they are adding that crap to it. and I can't stand the aftertaste. And it makes me sick, too. Uh, me and my sister and sometimes my mom have bad reactions to artificial sweeteners. So it's like, yeah, all the good cocoa, even the store brands, you know, as the uh, big brands changed their recipes, so did the store brands, and now they're all freaking ruined. I have no good hot chocolate anymore. I've tried, like, using Hershey milk, but it's just not the same. It's not... <sighs> I want my Swiss Miss. Uh. Sucks. <sighs> but yeah, I uh, it, uh, let's go back to something happier. When I was a kid, um, one time after we had seen the Disney movie Cool Runnings, which you should ch totally check out sometime if you're in the mood for corny, silly, happy '80s, '90s Disney movies. Um, it's about a Jamaican bobsledding team. <laughs> Nice mismatch comedy, and but then also perseverance and triumph and stuff. But it inspired us kids, us four kids, to uh, make our own bobsledding trail. Uh, we had a decent hill for sledding, but uh, it wasn't terribly long. So we uh, would we took we had one of those plastic disc sleds, and uh, we kind of mapped out a course like in zigzags and stuff. And then we used snow uh, piled up and padded really hard to uh, reinforce the edges of the trail um, so that it would keep the sled on track. Uh, some testing, some uh, false starts, some having to redo stuff and fix things here and there. And we eventually got it to work really good. So it our sledding lasted like twice as long. We'd zigzag down the hill in exciting patterns. And then at the bottom was like this uh, spoon type thing. Like it was round with a uh, wall zone on it. So if you still hit it at a decent speed, you'll like go round and round in circles until your sled stops. We had a great time that winter, and we were lucky that the snow and stuff held for a good long time, so we got to have that for weeks and just have so much fun on it. And it got faster and faster as the ice got packed harder. That was like one of the best years of my life as a kid. We had our bobsledding trail. It's nice to create something, to come up with something, and then to get to enjoy it for so long. But yep, and then we'd come into hot cocoa that wasn't ruined yet. Oh, lava! Okay. Pretty close. Ah, those darn little zombies. I could really live without those. Oh well, it's good to have a new enemy type. I just don't understand the other things wrong with zombies. Ah, you'll, you'll, you'll see in some of my other videos I address that. Oh, more iron. Awesome. Um, what are some of your favorite childhood memories and movies? Please share in the comments. I'd love to hear about them. Well, as much as you can comment on YouTube's new and improved comment system. Ah, uh, let's not even get started. Oh, Okay, we got us a cavern. Lots of lava. Good, good, good. Let's see if there's a... Oh, 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 that was close. Ooh. And yeah, I know I was close a second time. I'm trying to not to think about it too hard. Get, get, get. There we go. Oh, more string. I think one, but one more and I can make a bow. Okay, this is probably a good spot. 
And heck yeah, I've already got my water, so I'm ready to go, I think. Or at very least to get this thing ready. So, oh, oh. <laughs> Didn't mean to fall down in there. It's getting a little choppy. Come on, game. Don't do this to me, guy. Yeah. Okay. All right. Let's get this portal a going. I've been working on the railroad all the live long day. I've been working. Oh, did I? One, two, three. Oh, no. I'm fine. I'm just used to uh, having. Uh, some of it closed off, but it's not necessary. Okay. Just book. And then... Book. Perfect. Alright, recollect my water in case I need it. That'll especially be handy for circumnavigating lava. Book. There we go. Oh yeah, I don't have armor yet. Uh, I better uh, set that up, yeah. Ah, I was so ready to just jump right in. Oh, I thought I'd mine more. My thoughts were deceiving me. Well, I'm gonna go look. I saw some near some lava on there. Oh, one right here. Uh, let's see if I can catch it. Ooh, ooh. Careful, careful. Mm -hmm. Oof, I think I got it. Nope, I guess I didn't. Uh, yeah, and that one's not gonna work. Oh, why didn't I use my water? Yeah, yeah, I should have done that from the start. Uh. Oh well, I think I saw some more. Is it? There it is. There's some more area to explore up there. Uh, 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 come on! Ah, all right. And just make a bridge across here. Yep, there's more iron. 